I'm making this video in stalwart defense of the Cyclops Overseer, whom we get to have a little glimpse of in the teaser trailer for Amazon's Fallout TV show. Now the teaser trailer has come out and a lot of people love it. They've been praising the set design, the world design, the character design, but one point of contention that's come up and has caused a lot of online debate and has caused a few people to spew hatred and say that they're writing off the show completely before it's even aired is the fact that Chris Parnell, fantastic actor, is playing what seems to be a Cyclops overseer. And there's a lot of arguments that they have as to why this doesn't work and I'm here to just argue against it. It's too fantasy and it doesn't make sense in the world of Fallout. I'm gonna stop you right there. In a game universe which has given us radiation-filled humans who live over 200 years, an army of hulks, a talking tree, this thing, a boy who spent two centuries in a fridge, the swapping of brains in cyberkinetic dogs, synths, automated suits, deranged computer monitors, time-traveling teleporting assassins, people with telekinetic and telepathic abilities, Doctor Who, dinosaurs, legit Lovecraftian supernatural forces, and an actual alien abduction. A Cyclops is nothing. In a world that is completely irradiated, a one-eyed man is the least weird thing to pop up. Some are saying it doesn't make sense as to why he looks that way. You haven't watched the show yet. You don't know the reason. All you're going off is a seven second clip within the trailer. There are plenty of reasons as to why this man appears to be a Cyclops. You don't question as to why the ghoul looks like that because you know as to why the ghoul looks like that. There hasn't been any explanation given as of yet, but that doesn't mean to write it off by saying it's a failure because we don't know why. No, no. You just don't know why yet. There are plenty of things we don't know yet, but just because we don't know them doesn't mean they're failures. We just haven't learnt about it yet. I have a couple of theories on to how the Overseer ended up as a Cyclops. One is that the vault is obviously open because Ella Purnell's Lucy has come in. She's sitting there chatting with Chris Parnell. So the doors must be open. There must be some in and out traffic. That could have meant that radiation came in and that radiation could have come in, infected the gene pool and caused a mutation. But the theory that I like is that vault was experimenting by seeing what a tiny dose of radiation would do to a human populace. Seeing what would happen with exposure over time because obviously that sort of genetic mutation must have happened over a few generations. And so feeding in just a little bit of radiation to see what happens, see if there are any side effects, see if there are any cures that could be made from them and it's caused this very innocuous very harmless mutation because if the doors were fully open and it was the full blast of the radiation from the wasteland then you'd end up like a ghoul so that's my thought process is that it's just a little bit added in from the higher ups in vault -Tec. but anything could be the reason maybe he's not even real maybe it's an hallucination maybe he's a robot maybe he's a hologram we don't know until we watch the show so don't write off the fact that it hasn't been explained just because you haven't heard an explanation yet. And the biggest argument against him is that it breaks the law of Fallout. How? The only things that the TV show has to honour from the games is that nuclear bombs dropped on October 23rd, 2077. Humanity survived above ground, but also underground in vaults. And that's it. That's really it. Because adapting the games of Fallout is somewhat unique. There are already people who are saying that the fans are going to write this off because it will stray too far from the source material, much like The Witcher did. Well, The Witcher follows the story of Geralt, a specific man. So if there are any actions within the show and different storylines and such which deviate from his character, then it's an issue. The Last of Us is focused on Ellie and Joel. Tomb Raider is focused on Lara Croft. If any storylines pop up that deviate from their core characters, then that's an issue. If they're doing things that those characters at their heart wouldn't do, then that's a problem. But Fallout doesn't follow any characters. There are no core characters. It's just the world. And because it's just the world, you have complete carte blanche to do whatever you want with it. Because the show focuses on a survivor from Vault 33, which hasn't appeared in any of the games. And that's what some of the fans need to remember, is that this isn't an adaptation of a game. It's a whole new story and it's considered canon because the games have only focused on certain little areas across the country. There is still so much more going on and there's still so many more stories to tell. And so it needs to be seen through the eyes of, yes, this is gonna be a brand new experience 
unlike any of the games because it's not following the story of any of the games. It's going to be its own original story with its own original lore. But then when people are saying the Cyclops hasn't been established in the games and so why add something new to the TV show? Why not just work on something that already exists within the games? Because the games have had 26 years to create lore. But with each game that comes out, there's new stuff added to it. Were people upset with Fallout 4 that you could visit the Institute considering you couldn't visit them in previous games? Were people upset in Fallout 3 when you got abducted by aliens considering it didn't happen in any of the previous games? No, it's not breaking the lore, it's adding to the lore. And so with this TV show being canon in the Fallout universe and having its own original story, throw in a Cyclops. Do it. Throw in random creatures. Do whatever you want. As long as those core tenants are respected, i.e. that the bombs fell and that people survived and that vaults exist. Because everything else, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. The Brotherhood of Steel make an appearance in this TV show. It's been established. You get to see a lot of them in the teaser trailer. But the way that they act can be totally different to the way that any of the other factions, any of the other little enclaves, not to use that word because enclave is something else, but you know what I mean, the enclaves of the Brotherhood of the Steel in different parts of the country act. Because as you see across the games in Fallout 3, in New Vegas and 4, the Brotherhood of Steel are acting completely, almost independently, almost so differently to one another. And so when we see them in the TV show, again, they can act differently because they have their own little pocket within that area. And so if people start complaining about that's not what they would do, yes it is because that's what's happening. That is what they're doing. And so when you see like a new creature pop up that hasn't been seen before, have people said that's breaking the law? No, they're fine with this new creature. They're fine with if it's a adaptation of the Gulper or a Gecko, it's fine, it looks okay. But with a man having one eye, that's where the line is drawn. You just need to accept that this is its own story. This is its own experience and it should be treated more like Fallout 5. That's what the TV show should be. It should be, we are watching a full motion video, Fallout 5, and everything that's introduced to it is introduced and it's part of the universe. Everything that happens with it is its own story. And it doesn't have to build off of these smaller lore and the smaller stories and the smaller conventions that have been built up in previous games because other games ignore them. This is its own product. This is its own entity and it's its own story. And the Cyclops Overseer, I welcome you. I'm excited to see more of you. And I am thankful that we have got a one-eyed man in a world full of mutation and radiation and craziness, a one-eyed man is the most sane thing that there is. So there we go, folks. That was my defense on the Cyclops Overseer played by Chris Parnell in the Fallout TV show. I'm so excited to watch it. Make sure to stick around because I'm gonna be breaking down the episodes when they come out and any other trailers that pop up and all of that type of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any thoughts on this, if you wanna continue the discussion. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. My friends, luck and more to you all. Catch you next time. Imagine just having one eye though. It's so strange.